Hello, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, we are talking about our company Self Help, which means strength, unusual, rare, and marvelous. And our group member are Yogita Thapa Mogul, me, myself, Chikaram Jishi, and Saurabh Vishura and Kusat Samdani. About us, our company was founded in 2014, which is located, located in Damsar, Damansara Road, Kuala Lumpur. At first, we sell we are selling our, we sell our solar for different types of sport goods that are skis, bicycles, quills, or boats. And our mission is to provide everyone from first time participants to professional athletes with our world based sports and fitness equi equipment, future, and apparel. And our vision is to be at the biggest sports company and to serve happiness to the society uh, by being a truthful brand. And management team. Our management team consists of uh, MD managing director as Yogita Thapa Mogo. Uh, we selected her as a MD because she is creative and uh, and obviously an idea generator. And she is responsible for decision making. She is visionary and have a good leadership qualities. Uh, me myself, Chikram GC as a HR manager because uh, I am an organized person, multitasker, good negotiator, and uh, skill in problem solving and conflict management. And so Bishwal as a marketing manager because he, is, he poses a technical skill and, uh, and has an analytical mind group and has a good project management skills and he is a critical thinker. And Kusat Saudari as a finance ma manager because he is a pro proactive, analytical, team oriented and a good communicator, honest, trustworthy and high in integrity. And talking about our company structure, we have a horizontal structure uh, in which MD poses a British responsibility, abilities, and under her, uh, great number of employees work. Uh, and we, the managers, directly contact, contact and interact with employees and a lower level improve employees. However, we are uh, planning to move on a vertical structure with addition in our product that is cricket bat. Uh, in Malaysia, there is a myth that the uh, first ever sport played in Malaysia was a cricket bat. So. Uh, in that view, we are introducing a cricket bat, uh, which are premium brands like MRF, Stanford, Reebok, Puma, and Adidas, which are handcrafted, special selected English willow designed by international players, uh, which has unique shape for excellent balance and pickup, clear pace with maximum straight grains, uh, and, uh, and are available in short hand and long hand, uh, which comes with a carry bag. And we are focusing new brand mainly targeting juniors from age 10 to 17. Now I'd like to call my fellow Yogita. Thank you, Gita. Um, so I would like to tell you about the history of cricket in Malaysia. It was introduced by the British for the first time in the year 1880. And the first cricket club, the Royal Salonger Club, was founded in around 1884. And then the Cricket Association, the MCA, was formed in 1948. Uh, they first created the Malaysian Cricket National Team in 1970 and they played their first match against Mary Libon Cricket Club. And uh, Malaysia also hosted a triangular ODI tournament called uh, DLF Cup in 2006. So getting on with the future of Malaysian cricket, uh, the Malaysian Cricket Association is nowadays doing a lot for cricketers and they also are planning to play the T20 World Cup in the next 10 years. And they're also currently scouting young talents and compared to the previous years, the pool of players have increased in the last 10 to 15 years. So hopefully the cricket uh, image and the market will be quite good in the near future. So now about the marketing plan, I'd like to give it to my marketing director, Sori. Thank you. Thank you, Yogita. Hello, I'm going to talk about the marketing plan, which is also known as the tool, uh, a tool to reach our customers. Uh, let's talk about the product. Uh, uh, let's talk, talk about the targeted market which we want to sell our cricket bat. We want to sell our cricket bat in a mass market which could be the students uh, from the age of uh, 8 to 17 and in a niche market uh, like the, the pro cricket players. Uh, let's talk about the place, the distribution which we want to sell our cricket bat. Uh, it is in department stores, educational institutes based on the requirement and online company websites. The prices which we charge for our cricket bat is for juniors it is 270 and for bats uh, of other age group would be rupees 300. Uh, 
the promotion. Uh, these are some of the strategies which we uh, want to use in our promotion. So there's sales promotion, sponsors from different match, uh, sponsors different matches, provide discount on the first 100 sales. And uh, our brand ambassador, Suresh Na Navendranu, is the uh, cricket uh, captain of Malaysia. Uh, for our e-commerce, we want to sell our uh, products in these different sites, such as Zalora, ASOS, Shop, Bob, and payment uh, can be done by debit and credit cards, PayPal, cash on delivery, uh, direct online money transfer. Uh, as you can see here, this is the market share of our uh, processing in period four. Uh, this is where we did our best. Uh, and this region right here is the budget for our marketing of our new product. Uh, it is 5,000. The communication mix is commercial. The message which we want to deliver is best quality. And uh, the e-commerce is a uh, social media campaign. This is a uh, referral. This refers to the BGC matrix. It is a geographical representation of which helps to compare uh, analysis of business potential. As we know that every product has its product life cycle. Uh, at the beginning, uh, it is a question mark. So slowly, the product uh, develops into a star and a ca cash cow, where there is maximum uh, market share and market growth. This is where uh, the product really generates cash for the company and slowly when the product dies, it goes into the top. Dogs. Uh, let's talk about our competitors. Uh, our main competitors selling cricket bat in the Malaysian market is Castle Sports and Cobra Sports. Uh, as we want to uh, build our new product, some of the reactions from our uh, competitors can be aggressive marketing and reduce in their price. Uh, I want to talk about the Fortress 5 process model. So, uh, uh, this model talks about uh, how attractive is the market for cricket bat in Malaysia. So, this is the region where uh, the co existing companies such as uh, so there's Castle Sports and uh, Cobra Sports are live over here, and we want to um, be in the competition. This is the region for barrier to entry. The barrier to entry is very low because there is no uh, rules uh, that uh, our cricket bat should be a specific design or special rules uh, like that. So it is very easy to reach uh, go in the Malaysian market as a cricket bat company selling cricket bat. Uh, some of the threats are threats from new entrants and, and I'm talking about uh, the great companies like China company can sell, can come to Malaysian market and sell cricket bat at very low price which would be one of the threat and the other threat would be threat from substitute products. I mean uh, I'm talking about the domestic market which, uh, which is trying to sell uh, cricket bat in Malaysia uh, and the other power is the bargaining power of suppliers. Our suppliers are Adidas, MR, MRF, uh, and we have a lot of suppliers, so, uh, which is good because it helps us um, reduce our price. And the bargaining power of uh, buyers, uh, so um, the, the, our customers have a lot of bargaining power because they are habituated, uh, our, our our cricket is well established in Malaysia, so uh, I mean the they are happy today to buying cricket bats. Okay, so thank you. I want to call for the more. I want to call you Thank you, sir. Uh, so now I would like to talk about zone analysis of our product. Talking about our product strength, we have brand recognition. Our quality is of best quality. And we have effective marketing strategies implemented for this product. And we have created a very strong customer relationship for this product. And talking about our weaknesses, the decreasing Malaysian market share, 
uh, uh, create as an obstacle for our product. And our company entirely depends on the manufacturing companies for our product manufacture. And there is less grace among the local communities for cricket, so it will be hard for us to introduce this new cricket bat in the market. Talking about our opportunities, uh, because of the expansion of emerging markets and increasing demands in product innovation, we think that this will be an opportunity for our cricket bat. Uh, growing segments of younger cricketers and the increase in the number of cricket bats will also help us to uh, help introduce our new product. Uh, there is a fierce industry competition in the market and our revenue relies completely on consumer income, so it will be a trend for our company. And there will be a quite economic and currency fluctuation in the market, so this might be some considerable trades which we will be overcoming. So now I would like to take the financial plan to Kushal. Thank you. Thank you, Yogita. Now I would like to talk about financial plan. So in period 12, we have a net profit of 86,752, whereas in period 1, we had a net loss of 85,850. So in between this period, from period 1 to period 12, we had come, we had done great profit. Our profit growth in period 12 has declined as our market share in period 12 declined. And our return on equity in period 12 is good and turnover is also good. Our equity structure, group equity of period 12, we have 9,26,849. And we, are, we have an ex existing cash balance of 6,27,788. We have as total assets of 9,48,537, whereas we have liabilities of 21,688, which shows that we are able to overcome our current liabilities. In period 1, we had 2 lakh of long-term loans, that bank loan, and period 12, we had no loans. That means we have cleared up our all loans. And in period 1, we had a group, group equity of 4 lakh 89,150, and whereas in period 12, we had a group equity of 9,48,437. So which shows that our sales has increased and we have got more investors which have invested in our company. Now talking about operational plan, we'll purchase BAT at 110 for small BAT and 140 per BAT for other age group. And we have estimated cost of total BAT is 55,000 to 60,000. Our distribution will be distributing it directly we will import directly from factories. We will also supply it to retail stores as well as we will also sell it online. Qualified levers. We will, we will, uh, we will only, we will only hiring those uh, only professional holding bachelor's degree and we will also, we also have volunteer and internship done by recent graduates and business partnerships. We have ethnic brand like Puma and Adidas. We have also partners like sports drink company that is Gatorade and professional athlete Suresh, Suresh Navaratnam is the Malaysian cricket team captain and we will be sponsoring him, him and he will be marketing our product, quality control, serious cigar taken while handling the product, discouragement of untimely deliveries, we will be rather focusing on timely deliveries of our product, weekly checkups done of products and customer support. Customer can contact us through our website or phone with questions and queries. Information about events and news about the company and the products are available in web, our website. And customer feedback form is given to every customer at the time of delivery product, so they can also give feedback from that. Thank you. Now I'd like Yogita to continue. Thank you, Kushal. So lastly, I would like to talk about the critical risk factors. Uh, we have the management risks since our co um, company has never launched a new product before, so our managers will have some difficulties in overcoming the complications that might arise while launching a new product. And potential risks may also include personal conflicts or leave because of sickness. And we also have marketing risks since uh, there is very less market nowadays and many less craziness among local customers. So we will, uh, it will be very difficult for our company to reach the targeted consumers. Uh, there will be less security in the workplace, so we are planning to manage the security in the workplace and also potentially install fences to secure the workplace compounds. And too much duties are done by a single head, so the increment of potential staff and less responsibilities delegated to each staff and division of labor is done. Uh, there will be the fixed expenses will also be higher because of some unexpected costs that will be incurred by the company. 
And our primary concern with the intellectual property infringement is with the name and logo of the company. During the initial phase of our company's development, uh, we did many researches to find the name for our company, which is of potential, and also check if there is no trademark within it. So we have taken the name Selka, and initial steps and legal team has been contacted to trademark the title and logo of the company. And finally, we have the uh, our cricket bats we can also be collected and recycled and modified to become a net bat or a match bat. And if the bat is in a stable condition, then we can also be used in building benches in various public places, which can also be shown as an example like in the picture. So this is the end of our presentation. Thank you. Any questions?